have you ever dreamed about making your own lollipop? You know, that sucker in the back of your mouth that you're always thinking that it's good, but you want to make your own. Well, I found out a way, well, this is on, I found this out myself, to make a gum lollipop. It's very easy and simple. You just need three pieces of gum. Choose any flavor you want. You can mix flavors, which turns out to be really good. Like you can take chocolate and mint and turn it into a chocolate mint. Um, take strawberry, take regular bubble gum, anything you want. T today I chose double bubble or some call it fruity tutti, whatever you want to call it. It's like most. It's like a fruit punch for gum. So you just take three, you open up the wrappers, and before you do this, you, you would wash your hands, of course. No one wants to eat germ-infested them. Well, you scrunch it up into a ball, all, which I found is the quickest and easiest way to make the heat go through the top and contribute out. Plus, it's just easier to wrap it up in a ball that way. Because after the gum melts, it's super hot. You you have to wear gloves or else you'll get some fifth degree burns. You need a napkin at the at the bottom of your freezer just so that the bubble gum doesn't press down against the floor. And then you'll have a flat bubble gum. You want it round. You want a round piece. You take this after you put apply the stick into it. You take the wrapper, the, you take the ball of bubblegum that you just melted, and you wrap it up. After you put the stick in, and you wrap it up in the wrapper. You put it in the freezer afterwards, and make sure you don't, make sure it doesn't squish down. And that'll take about two minutes to freeze completely. And since the sugar has been melted, which sometimes if you leave it in there too long, you'll get this pile, well, this puddle of red. And it's, it's like a bubble, which is what the sugar has been stained and then brought up. And then it's just the color dye at the bottom. You don't want that to happen or else you will not have a bubblegum block up. Now, to prepare the plate, you're going to need a large sheet that will fit about five bubblegum pieces on there. You place it down on the plate you choose. Make sure it doesn't hit um, the walls of the microwave or else it'll fall. everything will fall and you're going to have to do some cleaning. You put it on you put it on the plate. You take the bubblegum pieces, put them around. This is probably the easiest part. Just make sure the bubblegums don't fall on the ground while you're picking it up. Be careful if you're using an oven, which would cook faster, I believe, but just be careful if you're using an oven and make sure you don't burn yourself with taking the plate or pan out. If you're making these for a party, you might want to use a pan and a larger sheet. So afterwards, when all the burning is done, all you have to do is take it out and make sure the, the melted part is on the outside. You don't want the gum part on the outside. You want it on the inside. So the melted part's on the outside, which will make it flash freeze when you put it in the microwave, freezing it faster, making it hard. You'll put it in the wrapper because of tradition. You don't want, plus, you don't want your hand germs all over it or the freezer germs. And once it's done, you just take it out, serve it at a party, whatever you want to do. And you can, you can impress all your friends uh, by teaching them how to make a bubblegum lollipop.